Jason Perry Stevens, thank mm. you so much for coming in and shooting a show. Yeah, thank you. For um, so, let's see. How did you get started with music? How did I get started with music? Um, I got started with music by listening to country music on the radio with my mom in the car. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, I mean, I think it just always instilled in, in, like, parents and stuff like that. Like, my parents would always sing, like, me lullabies and stuff like that. No one in my family is real musical. Um, but I know I, I always enjoyed singing, and um, I started, you know, singing in choir. I always wanted to be, like, in band or do choir or mm -hmm. doing plays and stuff like that. And so I started super young. And, Started playing guitar um, around eighth grade and writing at the end of my senior year. So I've been doing it ever since. And so, who are the current influences now with your writing? Current influences right now, I really love um, Bob Dylan, of course. Mm -hmm. um, this guy by the name he has a band called Page France. I really love the, the way he writes. It's very like whimsical and kind of childlike. Um, I like. I just started listening to Joe Pug, and I love the way he writes just very it's very intelligent and well thought out and I love it um Ray Lamontain I mean I don't really I'm not really a very interesting person when it comes to like career influences they're very popular and they're not really exotic so <laughs> so what does your writing process look like how do you go about writing a song it used to be I would be hit I would be compelled by something or inspired and I'd sit down and write um, and it would just come out mm -hmm. um, I mean I'd find a little line and then kind of like build it around that the writing process to me is still very mystical mm -hmm. um, now it it can come in just me picking up my guitar playing through a lick and then just writing to it like writing whatever comes to my mind and recording it on my phone mm -hmm. through voice memos and um, going back and picking those up again and um, and then I'll meditate, I'll like just think through the song and mm -hmm. like what's the song trying to communicate and um, go through that more and, and have it in my mind. And I finish songs riding my bike or on the bus um, and then going home and just like doing it a lot. What's new to me now is actually working through a song. Before it's been very organic and just, um, you know, just going for it and yeah. allowing the song to come. Now it's been like working through it and like sitting down and writing and like looking at words and revising and stuff like that. So it's definitely something I'm growing in, but it's still, it's still a very mystical process to me. Like I don't, after I write a song, I think the song that I even played for you, I don't know exactly what it means. So do you want to identify some of those bits though about the song that you? Sang? Yeah, um, that was the one. It, the song has the the chorus where it goes, "So break my bones and hold my tongue. Mm -hmm. I shed my skin after all I've done, and you wash my feet, and the river's so sweet." I'm a wrestling soul trying to find who to be. And um, I feel like that chorus came to me first. And um, just thinking over it, the, the song starts out, it says, I've been looking for you all over this town. I've been looking for truth, but truth won't come around. Now my head's in the highways, my heart's in the clouds. And I'm glad it was you that came looking around. And um, that song... That song means so much to me as far as how I was sought out, how I was sought by God, how I was sought out by Jesus, and um, that I can look only so far and I can go only so far until I'm just done. Like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like in that chorus where, where I say, and break my bones and hold my tongue, it's like, I don't even care anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just so spent with with striving and, and looking and it's like I'll allow you to do whatever it is that you want to do because I'm done like I'm, I don't want to say another word or take another step and you can do whatever it is you you want because I've just come so far that it, I've seen my failure and I've seen failure of others and I have nowhere else to go. What are kind of the next steps though? I heard you might be recording. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm recording, uh, hopefully by this time I should have a SoundCloud up with this song fully recorded. On awesome. There. Um, I'm recording just in, in my home with a friend, 
for the Garage Band, just to <laughs> awesome. get a small demo out, and then I'd love to start playing shows around San Francisco. So if you need someone to play <laughs> the venue, um, you can email me at jasonpstevens at me.com, <laughs> and I would love to play. Um, and I'll put that email address on the blog post, too. Yes. Of course. Um, yeah, so playing out, and who knows? Awesome. From there. So. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me again. <laughs>